Hi everyone, it's Joy. I'm going to try to do that um, Natalie the Diva tag or the 14 in 2014, 14 beauty products in 2014. Did I get it out right? I don't know, but that's what I'm going to try to do today. And my camera is all funky. I don't know what's going on. Okay, is that good? Okay, so let's start with skincare. And anything Obagi this year is my favorite of 2014. But I did find this one item, the Neocutis, and it's supposed to be a plumping serum with hyaluronic, hyaluronic acids in it. Anyway, it's Neocutis, and I like this. So this is probably my new addition to my skincare, skincare? My skincare regime, regimen, eh, start over, <laughs> if I knew how to edit, which I'm going to learn how to do that. That This is one thing that I'm really, really enjoying. So, this is, I don't know if I'm going to count all these. I, when I brought everything out here, I think I counted, I counted 14, but, okay, I'm a little cheater, because some things like have something to go with it, such as, so I'm kind of skipping around then. My brow item, I'm normally a, a cork shadow girl, which if you've watched my channel, you know that. This is the, it's in light, it's the brow, the brow whatever from Benefit. And it has the wax and the shadow. And the reason why I love this so much is because of this MAC brush that I use with it. And I found that it, oh, this is the Inglot. Well, the, this one is even better because it's cheaper. It's like 12, 11 or $12. And it is the number, oh gosh, 171, I think. But it's the, you know, the slanted brow brush from Inglot. Like half the price of a MAC slanted angled brush. And it's because of these brushes that I can pretty much now use almost anything in a brow line. I can even do the pomade now and just boop, 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 and not have an issue, whereas I thought it was the product. So, the Benefit Brow, and I like this, and I'm using this, but I'm pretty sure it's the brush that is the favorite. So, I dis I've i been using that brush forever, but I discovered this year that it, that is why all my brow products work. Okay, for hair, I use so many different, I switch off all the time on my hair products, so I really don't have one specific item that, my hair is itching my face, that I absolutely, absolutely love on my hair, because when I'm done with one thing, I try something else. But I do love this Ojan Revitalizing Mist. It smells so good, I'm almost done with it, and would I repurchase it? Oh gosh, I want to so bad, but I have so many other items that I need to use up before I repurchase anything in the hair care area. But I would, I absolutely would repurchase this once I've used up other items. I just, I really, it makes my hair soft. It detangles it. It is lightweight. It's a leave-in conditioner detangler. It's not greasy. It feels really great on my hair. It's got the Ojan oil in it. And let me see if it says anything super special on the back. Not really. But um, I just, I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my hair feel, the texture that it gives my hair. Love, love, love this item. I would totally repurchase it. You shake it up because it kind of separates. The oil separates in there. Love it. Would totally repurchase that. Okay, for a foundation, I just really like my, I've been trying to use this one up because it's, time to use it up. But I've really, really been enjoying it as I've been using it up. So this has been my go-to foundation of this year, the Smashbox. My BB cream this year, because I've been trying to use this up as well, is the Dior BB cream, the Nude Skin. And I am in color 003. And it has a pump. One pump will do me, so it, it's really, uh, there's a lot of great BB creams out there. I have a lot of them in my drawer. I will not be repurchasing this because I need to go through my items. I'm totally, I have resolved this year that come January 1st, Swizzy, right? We're going to do this. 
it's a revolution. We're going to totally go through our stuff and really try to shop our stash, rediscover our items. And I think a lot of you are all, well, I think a lot of us are on the same page with this. We've just, we've, we're there and we're going to go through our stuff and rediscover our items and enjoy what we have, play with them and talk about why we like what we bought and why we bought what we bought instead of keep on, you know, that treadmill of the new stuff as hard as it might be. And I'm the first to raise my hand and say, I may feel terribly, but I'm really going to give it a go. Anyway, this one, Dior, loved it. Brush cleaner, found this out because of Rochelle from Glam Moms and this stuff really works. I love it. Oh, I just heard my dog outside my door. I hope that didn't come through. It sounded pretty funny. This, I've used this a lot and it's hardly gone. I bought a backup of this already because I didn't know how fast I was going to go through it. And it, it, I thought I would go through it way faster. It does last really good because you don't need very much and it really does clean those brushes while you're, you know, on the interim until you need to do a deep, you know, scrubbing the brushes thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Because it takes a brush like my Wayne Goss, the one with the white which is also a holy grail. And the reason I brought this one out because this is my holy grail with my By Terry Loose Powder. This is a favorite, favorite, favorite of the year. When I want a perfect, flawless looking skin and I use it with this brush, so that's why I'm counting this as one because they go together. But I just dip this because it's just a tiny bit and then go along my face because it really a little bit goes a long way with this. It's a little dusty, it's a little messy, but it's beautiful. Found the By Terry powder through Cornelia Baby Cake 360, I think is her. I think y'all know Cornelia anyway. But she's the one who raved about this and we chatted about it and so I just I went out and got it and Yes. I use this sparingly because I mostly use my naked. This one is not translucent though, but this one is. This one I found through Lynette from the um, La Beauty Bag, LA Beauty Bag. I'm not sure how she pronounces that, if she says La or LA. Anyway, Lynette, if you watch this, let me know if, you, if it's La Beauty Bag or LA Beauty Bag. Because it could be that's where you live in LA, so Beauty Bag. Anyway rambling. This one, the Naked Loose Powder, is awesome. And I am in color medium, Naked Medium Light. And that's the one I use when I don't use this. So, kind of a cheat there. Put them in together. <laughs> but these are my, these are my loose powders that are, I love, love, love. When I use my colored one, I use my Sonia Kashuk. So there's another cheat. When I use my colored powder, I use my Sonia Kashuk brush. This is my favorite with all my high-end brushes. I go back to this one for my powder products. I just love it. It's the number 130. I love this brush. It's dense. It's, th oh, I love it. Oh, that, see, now we're getting a storm in and it's overcast. I hate when the weather does that. I need to get better lighting. I need to get better everything, but y'all, you're always so good to me because you watch anyway. Okay, f oh, I didn't grab a palette because I ran out of numbers. I couldn't. I couldn't add one more. Okay, so, well, that's all right, because I, I did grab a single shadow. Shadow, what? Shadow, the NARS in Callisto. Is it Callisto? Yeah, Callisto. This one has been my favorite this year, and you can see I put a, a good dent in it, but just in one area. I've been pretty good. And I, I love this one right on the lid. This one, all the dual... Duo Intensity Shadows by NARS, I think, have been amazing. They're coming out with a palette with all the duos, and I think at one extra, one limited edition in there for $79. These are, I think, $30 each, something like that. They're pricey. I have five of these already, different colors, so I'm not going to get the palette, but if you don't have these, if you held off on these, the palette is the way to go. It's going to be such a great buy, and they're awesome shadows. And even if you don't like, you know, shiny, glittery ones, just a tad on the lid just makes your eye pop. At any age, I think you can get away with that because I was very hesitant. I do have 
you know, crepey lids. And as I'm getting older, I never had hooded lids and now I'm getting hooded lids. So it's like, I'm, you know, the classic aging things are happening. So I'm very careful of where I put any kind of a shine on my lids. And these don't, they don't, they're not glittery. There's no fallout. They just have a, they look beautiful. They just have a nice sheen that just makes the eye pop. As long as you don't overdo. Everything in moderation, right? Okay, so that's my shadow. For bronzer this year, I this has been my go-to besides my Too Faced here. I'm adding in some <laughs> extra ones that I, that I do love because I use them. But the Medium 2 in Bobbi Brown Bronzer. And I just, there's hardly a dent in, the, I mean, there's just a tiny, but I use this a lot, a lot, a lot with my favorite brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 02. And I love, 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 love this brush. Love it. I use it on my eyes. I use it for highlighter. I use it for bronzer. I use this brush for everything. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Along with my bronzer. Ow! Oh, I just closed my finger in that. Have you guys ever done that? Ow! Okay, after bronzer, my Holy Grail highlighter, besides any of the Becca products, <laughs> this was my first Holy Grail highlighter. It's the Kevin Aquan Candlelight. Love, love, love it. I used this a ton, and there is not a dent in it. Not a dent. Not a dent. It's beautiful. It's just subtle. So it's not a in your face. There's no glitter involved. You can blend it out if you don't like it so much. You can build it up if you want a little bit more oomph with it. It's just, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. It's great for mature ladies. It's wonderful for younger ladies. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. If you, the Becca ones are way more intense, the bomb, the Mary Luminizer, Cindy Lumina, all those are way more intense. Even Too Faced, pretty intense. They can get pretty intense. This one can get that way, but you have to work at it to make it intense. It's just beautiful and mellow and I think sophisticated and glamorous easily easily without having to work at it okay blushes I was gonna pick the Rocketeur because I just loved it it's it's like an all-in-one blush it's like it has the highlighter in it already sometimes you don't need to use a highlighter it doesn't have the bronzer necessarily in it but I just I used it and used it and used it and used it and used it when I bought it until I found the Becca Damsel Fly. And I f found, well, I heard about the Becca blushes mostly through Melanie at Mr. Kong's Mom. Hi, Melanie. But I finally broke down and, well, they finally were in stock. And so now this one has one out. See how I cheated on this? That probably was not... Don't hate me, Natalie. I'm sorry. It's because I, it's really, it's like this was going to be the one. It truly was. And then I felt, this was like in the last month that I bought this. And I just, it just deserves to be mentioned. It's just fantastic. There's just nothing bad to say about this Becca blush. It goes on, it doesn't, it's not patchy, doesn't stick in my dry spots on my cheeks in the winter time. It's just gorgeous. I, just love it. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. You know, and you get, it's swatching blushes. I mean, obviously you want to kind of see, but they always go on your cheeks so much different. I mean, you can see that it's pretty on the skin, but on your cheeks and you have the brush and you're blending it out and you may put a little contour and I might put a little highlight with it. It's always so different. Becca blushes, ladies, are gorgeous. Gorgeous. I only have two, but I just love them. Okay, finally. Oh, I didn't bring mascara either. Okay, well, because I ran out of items, I ran out of numbers, and I kind of doubled up on the ones. So my last item will be a lip balm, and this is the 
Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. And yeah, I use this every single night. After I'm done washing my face, I put this on before I go to bed. And I really, really like it. It's minty. I don't know how nourishing it is, but it feels good on my lips. And my lips still feel soft when I wake up. So that is that for my final. If I were to pick a palette for a Holy Grail palette, this year would be the Tarte Rainforest in the Dark. And it's probably good I didn't bring it out because it's limited edition. I don't think you can get it anymore. But I, in my videos, I showed that over and over and over. It was like, please, lady, show something else. It's like, that's so annoying. So I didn't even bring that out. Mascara, they're real by Benefit. That would be my pick on that one. Didn't show it because I didn't have any more items. Well, but didn't say I couldn't talk about it. Anyway, the items that I showed, those are my picks for the best of 2014, the 14 items in 2014. Anyway, I know, I think I broke the rules a little bit. Anyway, sorry, but I had fun doing it. It was impossible for me to narrow everything down. One, two, I don't know, I'm not even going to count. I, it was close to 14 when I brought them out. So are we going to do this again next year? I hope so. Anyway, I hope you're all doing great. Have a very happy new year and be well, my friends. Bye-bye.